Hi guys, it's Chris from Loader Tools. Uh, some of you might have seen my videos about the RCVS Charge Master nozzles that I'm making. Uh, I am 3D printing these nozzles and I get uh, pretty good quality. And it was a nice improvement for the Charge Master. I've seen re reviews that says that the lock and load auto charge uh, has a tendency to throw heavy charges. There's some settings that you can put in there, but I think when you set those settings, you sacrifice the speed uh, at which the thing can complete its job. So I am uh, experimenting here with my nozzles brand new to this machine. I'm going to throw a couple charges and let's see what happens. This is IMR4227, by the way. Okay, it says 20.0. <laughs> again. <clears throat> it's a nice machine. Got a lot of settings on it. You can adjust a few things. Be interested in knowing what people people's experiences are with this machine. Um, what I might expect. Wherever I post this this video, please comment down below. I have a group on Facebook called Loader Tools, and um, um, LoaderTools.com has links to that group and it has links to my eBay store. I'm going to sell these the same as my RCBS um, Charge Master nozzles. The kit will come with a couple of nozzles and it will be uh, I believe I'm charging $5.99 or $6.99 for it and uh, also the shipping which is usually $3 or less in the USA I really pity people from outside the country who buy my nozzles and have to pay $10 or $15 shipping the things I make are good quality. I guarantee that. They'll thread in nicely. They'll stay in there. And uh, they will have a nice appearance to them. I um, pride myself on doing a good job. And I've got a lot of feedback on Facebook and uh, on my eBay store. I've been working on my website. Eventually I'll sell things off of it. This is just a quick video as I get a little bit more familiar with this machine. I found that uh, ball powder actually on the Charge Master is uh, particularly irritating for the mechanism, and the light loads also cause a little bit of trouble. In any case, And probably the same as my Charge Master, it gets up to, um, you know, close, a little bit slower, but it homes in on the final value by trickling a little more accurately. Um, I don't, I think, at this point I can't claim the same as what I had for my Charge Master where it was, definitely seemed like it sped it up. Seems like this one works pretty good. I guess my primary goal here is accuracy, to make the machine work very accurately. Okay, I want to keep this video short. I'm going to be coming back with some more videos. Please comment below what your experiences are with this machine. What can I expect? Um, 
I know there'll be some people that say, hey, I use a straw or I use this or that or I don't need it at all. I'm just making these. They work good on the Charge Master. I'm not charging a lot for them. Um, they keep me busy and I sell a lot of other 3D printed items. Um, brass, gets for, uh, brass trimming trays for, for trimmers and uh, primer catchers for a lot of different presses. Anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the web. Come visit me on my group, Loader Tools. See you later.